Okay, how did Kant settle the empiricism vs. rationalism debate? So this may be familiar to you, but empiricism is the view that all knowledge arises from sensory experience. And Kant called this sensation. And he also used this Latin phrase called a posteriori, which basically means after experience or post experience or known after experience. And then opposing empiricism is the view rationalism, which is the idea that all knowledge arises from rational thought. Kant calls this intuition and it's synonymous with a priori, which means prior to experience or before experience or known before experience. And you may be wondering why empiricism and rationalism are both quite important. Well, it's clear to note that some of the greatest philosophers in history were a member of one of these groups. For example, David Hume was an empiricist, John Locke was an empiricist, George Berkeley was an empiricist, and then on rationalism you have Leibniz and Descartes and Wolff. And empiricism is important because some people like logical positivists, like Alfred Jules Eyer, consider empiricism to be the scientific method. And rationalism is important because it is sort of the foundations for mathematics and also geometry and anything to do with a priori knowledge in general. And then Kant's view about this was something called transcendental idealism, which is the view that all knowledge begins empirically, but that is then understood rationally which reduces the binary opposition between empiricism and rationalism because Kant thought that it was quite limiting. And so instead he thought that both aspects of empiricism and rationalism could be synthesized together into this thing called the transcendental idealism. And it's also clear to note here that transcendental idealism is often used as an, an encompassing term for all of Kantian philosophy and not just this particular view, but it's best to understand transcendental idealism as knowledge beginning empirically and being understood rationally. And you may ask why Kant advocated for a synthesis between empiricism and rationalism. Well, a simple answer to that is because he was inspired by both empiricists and rationalists. Namely, one of his greatest philosophical inspirations was David Hume, an empiricist. And after he graduated from his university, he went on to study with various rationalist philosophers and also read lots of rationalist books, namely from the likes of Leibniz and Wolff's. And here's a quote from Kant. Although all our knowledge begins with experience, it does not follow that it arises from experience. So the key terms are begins and arises. And I think what Kant is implicating here is that empiricists commit the logical fallacy of genetic fallacy by judging something based on its origins. And so Kant argues that beginning of something is not necessarily the essence of the thing.